What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are using an all-time favorite electric type. We got ourselves an Ampharos team for ranked regulation age. Now, when it comes to Ampharos, this Pokemon is rather strong on the special attacking side. Its only downfall really is its abysmal speed stat. So we're actually using it in a Trick Room team today, pairing it up with Ferrigorath. Now this Ampharos has static as ability and is holding the power herb as item so it can use Meteor Beam in one turn. After using Meteor Beam, obviously its special attack will be plus one and then it can start doing crazy damage with moves such as Thunderbolt and Terra Blast with the Ice Terra type. Now like I mentioned, we got Ferrigraph on today's team. Ferrigraph is going to be our Trick Room Setter with Armor Tail, one of the best abilities in the game, Citrus Berry as item, Hyper Voice, Psychic Noise, Dazzling Gleam, and Trick Room. The four other Pokemon on today's team features Ursaluna, Incineroar, Primarina, and Amoongus. Now, Amoongus, obviously such a good Pokemon due to its supporting moveset, but it also really thrives out in Trick Room because it's a super slow Pokemon and you could just put Pokemon to sleep from there. Ursaluna, another Pokemon that's super slow, but this one is more for attacking. It's like an absolute truck with Life Orb. It's got Hyper Voice, Earth Power, Blood Moon, a moveset that you guys definitely see before. Now, Incineroar, Primarina pretty much doing normal stuff, but this Primarina is kind of different than most. It's got Liquid Voice with Throat Spray, but it also has Calm Mind, so I can boost my special defense, special attack, really start to get after it with Primarina. And then, like I said, we got Incineroar. I don't even need to explain that Pokemon. It's Incineroar. Guys, you want to run the scene for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right-hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Ampharos in rank regulation H. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Kilowattle team. They got Kilowattle, they also have Raichu, which means two Pokemon that probably have abilities to kind of neutralize electric damage. So Ampharos might struggle here, but I mean, it has Ice Terror type with Terra Blast and Meteor Beam. So that could be good. They also have Garchomp, they got Indeedee, they got Dragonite, and last but not least, they do have Wimscott. Now, Wimscott could cancel out Trick Room. I think going into Frigraph and maybe Ampharos here for our lead could actually be really good for us. So I am going to end up leading both of them and seeing how this goes. Depending on who they lead, I could just protect Ampharos or I could attack with Meteor Beam. Like I said, a lot of different options. From here, we will go into Arceluna and then I just think Incineroar is going to be our play. Right, yeah, they got a few physical attackers, especially like Garchomp, who could be Clear Amulet. Could also be competitive on the, uh, on the Kilowatch, but I like having the Dark Typing here and Fake Out, which is really good, especially up against like Indeedee. So, I'm with it. No, I don't want to withdraw. Uh, now I got it. Now I got to mm. I meant to hit done, but I hit withdrawal, so now I gotta revert everything back and then enter them again, which is so annoying when that happens. So we got the Ampharos, we got the Frigraph for the lead, we're ready to roll. We are ready to roll, but as you guys can tell, my voice is kind of, you know, messed up. My nose is all stuffy. I'm getting a little sick, but I'm not like that sick. It's just like a throat kind of runny nose kind of sickness. My body feels fine. Everything else feels fine. A little bit of cough, but we're good. We're still here recording. I got you guys content every single day on this channel. Again, if you guys do enjoy, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys have not already. I appreciate all my subscribers, but they end up leading double electric. So obviously lightning rod's a thing. Gotta watch out for that. Um, hmm, my play is probably just like meteor beam down here. You can't fake me out, which is good. So I'm gonna meteor beam this kilowattle. I'm just gonna set up a trick room. Just make life real easy for me. Real easy. The shiny Ampharos, ooh, the nice little purple. The purple tint for my boy Ampharos. Gonna go crazy here. He's just gonna go for a discharge with lightning rod to boost his special attack. It's gonna do, I guess, like minimal damage here. I mean, actually, that did a lot to my free grab. He's gonna go for Thunderbolt. Can you soak this, Fergies? Yes, let's go. That's a huge soak, Fergies. That's a massive soak. I was gonna say, you have the Citrus Berry, but Discharge put you at a perfect position where you, where you couldn't use it. It was just above half. But now I'm gonna charge Meteor Beam up. Vachu is looking rather annoying with plus one on special attack. I'm hoping that this Kilowattle is not Focus Ash, and I can really just, you know, get rid of it. That's really what I'm hoping here. Yeah, awesome. Dope. Get out of here, Kilowattle. So, Kilowattle, gone. Dead. Awesome. I could swap into Ursaluna if you are going to go for another Thunderbolt. There is a possibility there, and I might do that. Depending on who they throw out here. Let's see who, who they throw out here. Yeah, because I wouldn't mind just attacking with Ampharos. I know I can't use my Thunderbolt move. I would have to like Terrasalize or even charge up another Meteor Beam. Or I could protect and then get out Ursaluna and then kind of play from there. But if I had to guess, Focus Ash is probably on Raichu and DD is going to come out here. Which is... Okay, I mean, they could cancel out Trick Room. They could cancel out Trick Room. I might just go Ice Terror Blast. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm just gonna go Ice Terror Blast. Screw it. Screw it. Ice Terror Blast coming out here. I'm gonna go into a second noise. We'll double down on Raichu. We will double down on Raichu. Now, there is a chance that they could just go into a Trick Room here to cancel out our Trick Room. And I was thinking of playing off of that, but... The thing is, if they click that, we could double down on Raichu, just get rid of it, and then... And then play the rest of the match with Incineroar or Solina, which would be nice. So I'm going to Terrasilize. No Follow Me comes out here, which is really good. So we're doubling down into this Raichu. Hopefully just trying to get rid of it, right? That's really the main focus this turn. That does great damage. Second noise. Can he finish this off? You're in a terrain. You got terrain. Let's go. So Raichu gone. If I had to guess, they're most likely popping a Trick Room. They could pop an Expanded Force. If they do, I mean Ursula and Incineroar should come in here. And they do end up popping the Trick Room. So Trick Room's here. Um... What's my play now? What is my play now? Because they're going to send out their final Pokemon. Let's see who this is. Is it Physical Attacker? It's going to be Garchomp. Now, do we think Garchomp's clear? I mean, it's a chance that it is. Hmm. I'm just going to protect Ampharos. And I guess I'll try to pop another Trick Room. If I can, that'd be huge for me. That'd be huge, but let's just see what he wants to do here. Because I'm just going to protect Ampharos. Play it simple. Play it simple. Because, I mean, if I can land an ice move into that, that's massive. That is massive. That would be huge. But, I mean, they still have Terra. We don't. They're going to end up sending it here. So, Garchomp most likely getting, like, a Steel Terra or something like that. Just to dodge his ice weakness. Let's see what he's got cooking. It's going to be ground. So, this thing, I guess, is just looking to pop EQs or stomping tantrums. Either or. Either or. And Ampharos is just going to protect up here. I should have read it. I should have just went to... Actually, I mean, Frigraph would have died if I would have used Trick Room. That would have been a problem because it would have went last. Then I'm going for Stomp and him here. And honestly, I could have just attacked. I probably could have just attacked with it, with Ampharos here. And we learned that this thing's Life Orb, which is actually really good for us. Because I can actually intimidate it. Alright. So Expanded Force looking to fly. We're going to go into our Incineroar. I could honestly swap just so I can get another Intimidate. I mean, Intimidate's going to be huge, but the problem here is going to be like Stomping Tantrum flying. So I Intimidate up. I'm going to go for this, uh, this Terra Blast. And honestly, I'm just going to swap into you. I need to keep Intimidating this. Uh, I need to keep Intimidating this. Uh, what's it called? This Garchomp, because he probably wants to go for another Stomping Tantrum into that slot. Especially with Terra Boost it. And if I can Intimidate it twice, I might be able to eat up a turn with with uh, with uh it. So he ends up protecting here. That's fine. That's a fine turn for me. That's a fine turn for me. Go after Ursaluna. Go for EQ. Alright, I mean, that's fine. EQ's going to fly here. Ampharos, can you soak this? I really hope you can, Ampharos. I know Ursaluna's soaking this. Minus one. We're soaking all day. Ice Terra Blast launching. Has a hot shot at KO. We're plus one on special attack, if you guys remember from Meteor Beam. So come on, Ampharos. Big time KO. This pretty much wins us the game. Oh, yeah. Ampharos is here to play today. Ampharos is not playing around. So nice little swap for Incineroar. We get off that nice lovely Intimidate. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Now it's just a nice, simple two-on-one. I can start using my Electric Moves, finally. <laughs> and I'll just go into a Blood Moon on top of that. I mean, honestly... You could still go for Expanded Force. How many turns are left in terrain? I have to play this one a bit safer. Two turns left in terrain. But, I mean, Incineroar can really just clean up this match. Actually, let's just double protect. Let's waste out this terrain. Expanding Force can still do a ridiculous amount of damage. So, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna play this one too weird, right? I really can't. I really can't play this one, like... I can't just attack here, because Expanded Force has a chance at double KO, and it's just such a strong move. It really is. So, good thing I thought about that. I would have been real upset if he would have just lost his match because of Expanded Force. Like, I know I have Incineroar in the back end, which is good, who I'm going to swap into right now. Because we know he wants to go for Expanded Force, and we'll just go for Blood Moon. Trying to do as much damage as we can. And finally, they just cancel match, so... Alright, that's fine. Who with me? We're 1-0. Moving on to match number two, and Amphro shined in the first match. Looking to do it again. Going up against Mimikyu, Dragapult, alongside with Twirkle, Ursaluna, 
Golden Go, and Hydrogon. Now, this team's kind of weird because it's half really fast Pokemon with a Tailwind setter like Hydrogon, and it's half Trick Room ish with like Torkoal, Mimikyu, and Ursaluna. Now, I think they gotta bring in a few Trick Room Pokemon, but they can also lead speedy Pokemon, which is where everything gets kind of weird. So, Frigraph is gonna have to be our lead here. I could also lead it with Incineroar. Hmm. Do I want to do that? I mean, only Pokemon that can be affected by Intimidate is going to be Mimikyu, and there is a hot shot that's holding the clear amulet. I want it though. I like its typing though. I like Incineroar's typing here. It does work well. I could go into it. I definitely want Ursaluna, but I'm going to go Incineroar for the lead. Taco Cat. Fun fact Taco Cat, spelled backwards, is Taco Cat. I like that. <laughs> I like that fact. Ursaluna is going to be another Pokemon that we bring. And now that we got Primarina, I mean, Combine Boost could be good. I mean, the Fairy Typing, obviously wonderful here. Yeah, I like it. I can get down for it. I can get down for it. So, no Ampharos here in match number two. <clears throat> All good. All good things. All good things, but we're bringing the Taco Cat. Taco Cat backwards, Taco Cat. I, I don't know what to tell you guys. <laughs> I just think it's awesome. I think it's awesome. I, I love words like that. That are like... Is it race car backwards? No, I, I forget what it is. Yeah, yeah, no, race car backwards is race car. Yeah, that's that, that's cool too. That's it. Race car backwards is race car. <laughs> I just think they're so funny, but they end up going in with the two special attackers. Um, gotta watch out for dark moves. Obviously, I could just fake out here. Which is really good news. And I am just gonna fake out and go for Trick Room. He'll be Cobra Cloak, can't you? But I think you're Cobra Cloak though. Yes. Why do I think you're Cobra Cloak? I have an odd feeling that you're Cobra Cloak, so I'm just gonna go Fairy Typing. Mm, make it rain. You know what? We're gonna have to hope that you're not. I do, I do not want to go into Fairy Typing here. We're gonna hope that you're not Cobra Cloak. So Fake Out launches, chipping up damage, fingers crossed, no Cobra Cloak. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! But I didn't want to sit here with Make It Rain on the field and go into Fairy Terror. I knew you were Cobra Cloak. I knew it. I knew it. Don't be Make It Rain. It is Make It Rain. I right, figure dead. That really sucks, man. I knew you were Cobra Cloak. I knew it. I had a, I had a feeling in the gut. Look, you're sitting here with the Cobra Cloak. So now we're sitting here. No Trick Room Center. Pre Marina time? Nah, we're just gonna. Now, nah, yeah. You know what? Pre Marina. I got the got the fairy moves. I'm just gonna go for a Combine Boost here. We're just gonna keep boosting up. So combine Boost. We're gonna go for a knockoff into Gold to go. And with a lot of special attackers, I mean, Combine could be very beneficial for us. Gonna end up withdrawing Goldigo. So Goldigo is gonna swap. Going into maybe Torkoal? What's he got here? Torkoal does come out here. So we're gonna take off Torkoal's item, which is rather nice. And Earth Power is gonna fly, which we should soak. Awesome. Thank you, Incineroar. Thank you, Incineroar. So knockoff launches. Does solid damage. And we're gonna get rid of his Charcoal. Combine flying here. So special attack boosting. Something that we love. So we got the special attack boost. Um, could launch a moon blast in this slot now if we want to. Yeah, it's gonna be a play. And if I can get off another knockoff, actually, I'd rather just like parting shot out here. I'd rather just parting shot out here. So I'm surprised he didn't terrestrialize the highest gun last turn. Kind of on to me. They might even do it this turn. But we're looking to rip a moon blast in that slot. We're plus one on special defense. Plus one on special attack. Odd matchup right now, considering we lost our Trick Room Setter. But it actually kind of works well, considering they have Torkoal. So we'll see a Protect come out here from Torkoal. And you're just going to go into an Earth Power here and finish off Incineroar. That's fine by me. And I'm going to get rid of the Hydreigon. So, Hydreigon gone. Plus one on special defense. I still have Terror type. Moonblast is going to fly. Get it on out of here. Alright, so match isn't over yet. Man, that Cobra Cloak really did me dirty. I knew it too. I should have. I should have played something different. I should just protect it. Maybe attack them. That's what I should have done. I should have protected the uh, the Frigraph and then like knocked off the Golden Go. That should have been my play. Right? Did Frigraph have that? I kind of forget. The Frigraph have protect. Pretty sure it did. No, it didn't have Hyper Voice. All right, so yeah, so I couldn't have protected. So. Yeah, we're kind of in a sticky situation there. Um, from here, we got Liquid Voice, Hyper Voice, if we want to send it. I could just Combine Boost. I could also Terrestrialize. Um, 
I'm gonna go for a combine boost. And I'm just gonna go for an earth power to KO this thing, because I'm not really worried about the Torkoal as much as I am. The Primarina. Or, or uh, the Golden Go. So I'm gonna try to earth power to Golden Go down. There is a chance that Torkoal can protect here. Actually, it protected last turn, didn't it? I believe it did. Yeah. That's not bad. He's just gonna rip a Shadow Ball. So Shadow Ball's gonna come out here with plus one on special defense, which is really nice for us. Still does a nice chunk of damage, which we don't like. Earth Power's gonna launch, gonna KO you. It does, so Ursula really, really getting after it. Really getting after it. And Torkoal is probably gonna pop a Heat Wave or an Eruption, one or the other. I don't know, but we get off a Combine boost beforehand. Maybe I should just go for a Hyper Voice there. But I love this special defense boost. I really do like this. Let's see, he's gonna end up going for Heat Wave. How much damage is doing? No Charcoal. Primarina soaks rather well. And your final Pokemon is it Dragapult? I feel it's Dragapult. No, it's gonna be Ursaluna. It's gonna be Ursaluna. How many turns left in this sunlight? That's a real question. Two. I wish I had Protect. We're just gonna go for Energy Ball here. You could be going into a normal Terra. We're gonna double down into you. How fast is my Ursaluna compared to their Ursaluna? Probably real slow. Yeah, we are so slow. Gotta go for Blood Moon though, don't we? Could just KO the Torkoal. Oh, we're gonna attack here. There's the Terror type. There's the Terror type. Really came down to the wire. Again, if they didn't have Cover Cloak and I didn't lose my, my Trick Room Center that early on into the game, I would have really liked where we're sitting. I would have really liked where we're sitting. So, normal Terror is just like I thought it would. We're going to get after it. He's going to end up protecting Torkoal. Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Earth Power is going to get blocked. Actually, my Earth Luna was faster. My Earth Luna really faster. Moonblast is going to launch. How much damage are we doing with this? I should double down into him. I'm able to KO. My Primarina is going to win us this match. Come on now. Come on now, Primarina. Wow. Wow, I can't believe we're going to win this match. I cannot believe it. Hyper Voice honestly should do a nice chunk of damage, but we could just Earth Power through. Wow, plus two. Calm Mind going nuclear. Calm Mind going nuclear. That plus two boost was just ridiculous. We didn't even use our Throat Spray. But Earth Power finishes things off. Primarina, definitely the MVP of this match. So guys, who would have thought? Third and final match, we're looking for a perfect record with this Ampharos squad. Now, I definitely want to use Ampharos here. I like it. They got a low on nine tails, so we're going to have to watch out for that. And chances are, we can't really do much about it, right? We don't have any weather control. We're just going to have to send out Ampharos and look for a win here. So I'm going to go Ampharos. I am going to end up going into my Frigraph. Trying to pop Shrikram here early on. We do stop fakeouts, which is great. So I do like that lead. Obviously, we want Ursaluna. And last but not least, it's either Primarina or Incineroar. I think Primarina is going to be a tad bit better here. Just because Archaluna is such a big threat. And I feel like we need special attackers to kind of deal with it. So I'm just going to stack the brim with special attackers here. My whole team is special attacking. Actually, every Pokemon on this team is special attacking besides Incineroar, so it's kind of funny. So, Arch Ludon, gonna have to worry about that. Lola Ninetales, definitely worried about that, but there's really nothing we could do about that thing setting up a Roar Bell, so we're just gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> we're just gonna have to deal with it. So, the lead comes out here. It is gonna be Meowth, and Arch Ludon, which I don't mind that much. I mean, I'm cool with just sending a, a Meteor Beam this way. And popping a trick room. I think that's definitely our play. Do I terrestrialize free graph? That's the real question. So what dark moves could you be rocking? Usually just sucker punch, right? It's usually just sucker punch. I'm gonna not terrestrialize here. I'm gonna choose to not terrestrialize. It's usually just sucker punch when you think about Miascarana. So I mean if I don't have to worry about dark moon flying in here, we should be fine. I don't wanna I really don't wanna waste the Terra. I really don't. I really don't. And yeah, thinking about me, Ask his move pool. I don't I can't even think of a, a move that he uses. So bullets he's gonna launch, protein's gonna switch to grass type. It's it's already grass type. And oh, that that's the plan here. That's that's the plan. That's the plan. This, this is not good. This is not good. Frograph actually you're probably taking out Ampharos. Not the Ampharos. Leave my Ampharos alone. Leave him alone. Leave Ampharos alone. You definitely want to go for body press. 
Leave him alone. Amphro soaks my dog, Amphro. My dog. My dog. What a dog. Let's go, Amphro. Soak that up all day. Power Herb's gonna fly with Meteor Beam right into the Miyoshi Rod slot, and we get off Trick Room, which is huge. How much damage is this doing? A little bit over half? A lot. Sash? Sash. Take that all day. I will take that all day. The Trick Room is here. Can't use Sucker Punch, which is great. Due to my nice lovely ability, and I can just rip a... I could go into maybe like a Terra. Terra Blast. I kinda just wanna protect you. And then I guess like Dazzle Gleam up. Just to finish off this Miascarada. And then be able to get off some more value with our Ampharos. You can't use Sucker Punch. I got an ability. Armor Tail, popping out here. Dazzle Gleam launches. Let's say bye bye Miascarada and do respectable damage. I don't really mind boosting this Arch Ludon's defense anymore. Considering it's already plus four, like. What's the difference, really? <laughs> I mean, it's doing a lot of damage regardless. Body Press gonna fly into Ampharos again, but now I can get off a turn with a Thunderbolt, hopefully, and do a huge chunk of damage into whatever Pokemon that comes out here. Let's see what you got. It's gonna be Annihilate, who I want to attack right now. So Thunderbolt gonna fly here. There is a chance that he does end up protecting. I could double down, and I am gonna double down. I'm gonna need Ursula to take out Archloot on, so. We're just gonna double down. So he's gonna hard swap right away. Into who? Into Ninetales. So this actually isn't bad for us. I mean, Thunderbolt, Psychic Noise, can do respectable damage. I'm hoping just to KO it, because War Bell is gonna be a big threat to us. Let's see, so Thunderbolt. Oh yeah, oh yeah, great damage, we love that. That's perfect, Ampharos just did, just did its work for the week. So we get rid of Ninetales. Big time for us, Arch Ludon, probably gonna body press finish off Ampharos, yep. Totally fine with that because now I can bring out Ursa Luna. And now I can Earth Power that thing. Because we should have two turns left in Trick Room. Those turns left in Trick Room. Those. Right? I believe. I gotta check it out. Because if it's one, I'm gonna be so upset. But I doubt Ursa Luna has Protect, which is really good for us. Which is really good for us. Two turns? Two turns, baby. Two turns. That's what we needed. Alright, so from here, again, I do not believe Ursa Luna to have to have, what's it called? To have Protect, but I'm just gonna Psychic Noise and go into Earth Power onto the other slot. And Earth Power should just KO. Yep, that's pretty much game, yo. A 3-0 perfect record for you guys with the Ampharos squad. Come on, everybody who's been dissing on my boy Ampharos has to take it back. They have to take it back right now. Psychic Noise launches, great damage there. You can't heal up anymore. You could have leftovers. Drain Punch won't do anything for heals. So nice, so nice. I get a crit on that too. Oh, you just can't oh that that should not be a thing i'll i'll vouch for my opponent on that if you can't heal you should still be able to use drain punch you just shouldn't get the healing effect from it like you should still be able to deal damage with drain punch you guys know what i'm saying like it just canceled out his move which is ridiculous but from here i was gonna win this match regardless i could just go into second noise i could just go into blood moon they're gonna cancel we already know what's going on here yep there it is 3-0 perfect record with Ampharos. Not gonna lie, ladies and gentlemen, I did not expect to get a perfect record for today's video. I expected maybe a 1-2, two, 2-1 two winning record, 3-0 perfect record. Nah, I didn't really think we were gonna be able to pull it off with Ampharos, but this Pokemon was everything that I wished and more. Doing big time damage with Meteor Beam, stacking that special attack boost, and then Thunderbolt and Terra Blast, going crazy. And then the rest of this team, just nice little meta Trick Room squad. Everything worked out perfectly. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positivity day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.